It's power time. We get into the last episode of Power. It's this Sunday. Let's take a quick final look at that trailer. And then we're going to give our final predictions and we're going to see y'all off until Sunday. Ricky's dangerous. He'll say or do anything it takes to get whatever he wants. Mr. Sachs, call your witness. You told the cops? I'll fix it. You need to be careful. Kane's out of control. He's the fucking problem. And now he's the solution. D, something's up. I thought this would end many ways, but not like this. The government calls Tariq St. Patrick. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. T streams. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you first. Thoughts on what you think is gonna happen? Anything in that trailer jog your 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 jog your um, curiosity into a, a good written line of what's gonna happen in episode ten. Man, the whole trailer dragged my curiosity, but I always be off the mark. I mean, like, man, every time I <laughs> and so, uh, man, uh, you know, they they show just just enough to show you something, but don't show you anything. Exactly. And, and so, uh, so look here, um, my main interest is really I, I see some different I see some awkward looks in that courtroom but I know we have to wait till the end to the end of that show to actually get any of that you know everybody looking looking funny uh, you know Tasha Method Tariq uh, to, what's her name Tamika oh man everybody oh that look there it's like Oh man, I can't wait till they pin him to the floor. Now they look in like, G up with that pinstripe on though. Hey, yeah, he's yeah. He's, he's like he could be a criminal. Yeah, yeah he's looking short there. Yeah, you give him his dob and a Tommy gun, he'd be all right. Now, <laughs> now this is this is what I'm concerned. This is what I'm 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 thinking. When I look at that, the only thing I can think of is that. Tamika didn't pull the some she didn't the she didn't pull uh some type of trump card because Tariq is on the stand and Cooper Sachs is looking absolutely behind him. He's looking behind him, not over to the side where Tasha and them is, but behind him. So, so D Street, let me help you out. Could it be now, ladies and gentlemen, you hear it here first because we give you guys the absolute best theories. Even though some of y'all be trying to hate on us, we know we give y'all good theories. Could it be, T Streams, that this face of Cooper Sacks is looking back because Tamika, through Tariq, has decided to call the person that is sitting behind Ottman, which is Riley, to the stand. You see that hair behind him? That is Uncle Sacks' niece, Riley. Could it be that Tariq told her, that Cooper Sacks had her put some drugs in his cup to try to get information, and he got that illegal video, and Tamika decided that she's going to call Riley to the stand, who's trying to hide right there behind Ottman, and Cooper Sacks is looking like, no, the F y'all did not call my niece to the stand. I will take my editing writing money right now, power. Give me my coins. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that would be a good way to stick it to Nancy without no Vaseline. Um, man. Because mm-hmm. you see, look, at that, look, look right there. That is Riley sitting right there in that corner, in that courtroom. Yep. Blurred out. Yep. Yeah, they, Larry. they I know they something. <laughs> Larry. What you think? What's going to go down in episode 10? Well, first of all, I want to say that uh, Troop TV in the comment section from DC, I was about to give him a shout out to He told me that I never give good theories. Now I'm not. Now I'm going to ignore him. <laughs> oh, no. I have mercy. <laughs> but I, here's what I think. And you'll, you, you, might, you might appreciate this, Lamont. I actually think this episode... We're gonna see some some nope, testicular nope. fortitude from Carrie. We're gonna see that we're gonna see that the prosecutor in her come out, and we're gonna see that she because prosecutors are, are some tough MFs, and I think we're gonna find we're gonna find that 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 she used to be 
a bit of a hardcore gangster on the prosecutor side in that in that she's got something in her that she may have left that life behind her so she can go into academia but i think we're going to see some of that toughness now that monet's come on there you know it's come on the scene she's starting to look at some of these uh you know she looks at some of these students on her campus as like her kids her responsibility and mm -hmm. now i think she's i think we're going to see some toughness in her that we haven't seen before oh so, boy. Oh boy, it's about, it's about time y'all stop calling her lock and key, conjugal carry, and scary carry. And y'all <laughs> give that woman the recognition that she rightfully deserves because she about I to think show we're going to see counselor carry this next time. Yeah. And I hope they do something to old Eddie Winslow Bellamy here. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm I not. Think you can Man, you know what? I, I'll say this about him. I'll say this about I'll say this about Zeke. Okay. I actually really like Zeke because Zeke has been in a very unfortunate situation with his family. He's tried to make the best of it, stay out of trouble, separate his college life from his home life. He's tried to keep all that separate. And to be perfectly honest with you, if you are a young man, a student, could you blame this brother for going after Professor Milgram? No, and and no, once absolutely. you said yes, would you would you blame the brother for doing what he could do to, to spit whatever game he had to spit to try and keep her? I mean, she's legit. She may be she may be a little off to off kilter with her sex therapy or sex addiction, but she's still legit. <laughs> yeah, she she more than legit, my brother. <laughs> no. if, if, uh, boy, I, I like Zeke. Yeah, I like, I like Zeke. Hey, all right, man, but th th this is what I want to know. Okay, let's talk about this clown right here. He's supposed to be a gangster, you know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be a real G. How many real Gs go to their bedroom and flip over a damn uh, queen mattress? What? Well, come on, man. He's flipping over many, the mattress. How many real gangsters are running around wearing tie-dye Oshkosh Bagosh overalls? You oh, I, I don't think that's tie-dye Oshkosh Bagosh right there. Well, that no, not that one. That that one, like he's, I don't know what he's doing there. It's like he's in the woods playing army or something. No, no, no. This is what he's doing. In this clip right here. Oh, he's burying bodies? Like, yeah, he's burying the body. It looks like he probably done, you know, stole that from an oil rig in St. Louis somewhere and about to burn up the body, and he don't want to get burnt up. That's what he's doing. He's dumb. He's going to keep that badge and get caught with it. Stop it. Stop it, you man. You know he is. So here's the other mystery. We got this car right here. It's a white guy in that car. Everybody wants to know who's getting pulled over. People have said it's Tommy. People have said it's Cooper Sacks. Somebody even said it's Stephen Ottman. Larry, who do you think is the white guy getting pulled over in this car? I don't think it's Tommy. Yeah. Nah, I think it's Trace. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Trace, maybe Braden, but I don't think Braden's dumb enough to do something that's going to get him pulled over like that off campus. But I think that it might be Trace. Mm -hmm. T and that's going to cause some issues because, you know, Trace is, I don't know. I, first of all, I was thinking Trace might just go ahead and flip. But Trace Trace is scary. But when, when push came to shove, he wasn't a punk. He was scary, but he wasn't a punk. So, okay, you know. Um, T -strings, T strings, who you think is in the car getting pulled over? Uh, yeah, I don't think is I don't think it's Tommy, and I really can't. You know, you know they they do a good job making sure you really can't see who the hell it is. Uh, <laughs> whoever it is, they in the B, they in the BMW. So it's got to be it's got to be somebody with some bread, but of course everybody got bread in this show. So uh, let me see. Professor C said, "White guy getting pulled over? Nah." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Word on that. I feel okay. on that. That's that. No, come on. Bad story writing right there. Well, no, no. So that might be that might be the clue. See, if you're a normal white guy, they won't pull you over. But if you're a white guy with some predilection that society doesn't like, say being gay like Stern's husband, they'll pull your ass over. Could it be Stern's husband's in the car? Nah, Stern's husband's not driving a little BMW like that. He's going to drive something a little bit, little bit bigger. 
Okay. He might be driving okay. a little like a Maybach or or Lambo SUV or something. Okay, so we've narrowed it down to Cooper Sacks, Trace. What other white guys is left? You know, if it's Cooper Sacks, I don't think it's Cooper Sacks in the sense like they're trying to like they're stopping him to arrest him. I think they might be getting they might be going after mm -hmm. him because there's a threat on his life or something, and they're just trying to make sure that he's had that he's in you know protective custody. So, okay, but I don't think they would be going after him to, to, to arrest him. Okay, all right, fellas, final predictions is anybody going to get out of jail or is anybody going to go to jail? And death predictions, T strings will start it with you. Death prediction does Tariq go to jail? Does Tasha get out of jail? Okay, I don't think Tariq go to jail. Okay, I think. I think I think that would just complicate things to end the series or the season with him in jail because then you have to do a bunch of episodes with him locked up because they're just not going to let him right back out, you know. Uh, so I don't think he goes to jail. Okay. Um, I would like to see Tasha get out because because if Tasha has sort of been his side, has sort of been his little you know, his little earpiece. And um, if this show is going to capitalize on the rise and fall or the rise of Tariq St. Patrick, right now during these early, during these early stages, you know, he, he need that extra, he need that extra mouth in his ear. And it's sort of, you know, the whole idea of the, the phone calls and the, sending messages to guards and stuff like that is starting to get, you know, it's starting to get time worn. So it's time, it's, it's time right now. I, I'm surprised that, that it went on, you know, this entire, you know, this entire season. Um, but I would, I would like to see Tasha get out. I know, I know Tariq is not going to jail, but I do know whatever they have in up their sleeve, the, the whole the crux of it is we're not going to get it this season. So, <laughs> of, of course yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not going to get it. No. Larry, the very, oh, the very thing we hope for that we think it is getting ready to go down and see that's next on power. You know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. And, and this, this time is not a week. We're gonna have to wait what four, five months, maybe. Well, if not long. No, I don't know, man, because you got Raising Canaan coming on. That should be decent. Um, yeah. we, we've got um High Town about to come back on. We've got P Valley about to come back on. Uh, and we've got mm -hmm. the Shy about to come back on. So we're gonna be busy with shows. We're gonna be busy. And, and we then have one division coming up in two weeks. One division about to come on. We doing that. So. We're going to be busy. And then the boys is coming back in the summer. We're going to be busy. So yeah. we'll have different things to get us through this year with all this pent up. And now the rumor I've heard, ladies and gentlemen, it's a rumor. It's not like I sit on the board. It's not like I own enough stock that I get to go to the meeting. But they might be dropping the Scarlett Johansson movie from Marvel on Disney+. Plus. But y'all ain't hearing from me. Know. Yeah, y'all ain't hearing from me. So don't right. act like you, don't go out and tell somebody and then y'all say Lamont Tyson said. Don't say that. But they 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 should have they should have been did they should have been did that because what they they sat there and changed the date two three times thinking that the that the COVID thing is gonna subside and we're gonna be able to get all these people back in into uh, movie theaters and what. Uh, another eight to fifteen months or whatever the case, and that's not happening. Is you know nope. it's just not happening. So, I mean they they just sitting on this movie and they're not getting anything in return from it, and they didn't already paid everybody. So they need to they need to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, let's <laughs> let's rethink this thing. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if if a lot of those movies, matter of fact, we did uh, we did a show several months ago. Talking about all the movies that they didn't push back to the end of 2021 and push some movies all the way back in the 2022 and stuff like that because of this very same thing. Uh, yeah. So 
you know, it's a it's a good model for certain movies, but some you gotta let some of them go. Yeah, I, I agree. And by the way, I did review Godfather of Harlem first season, which was if you guys didn't see that, it was just unreal. The yeah. acting, um, the cast. For Whitaker. Yes, man. Yes. Yeah. And, and your boy, um, I can't think of his name. That was the senator in it. He plays a convincing bad guy. He did a good job. They had my man playing Malcolm. X. That was a good damn show. One of the best shows on TV. That well, comes out in February. Knew, right? Yes, yeah, come and Larry, it come back on in February. Oh, it does. Okay. I didn't think they got renewed. No, they got renewed on FX, and that's coming okay. back on. So, ladies and gentlemen, stick with us. But Larry, is Tariq going to jail? Is Tasha getting out? Is anybody else going to die? In this season of power, no, I don't think that. I don't think Tariq's going to jail. Damn and it, and Tariq, Tariq's not going to be going. Tariq's not going to be looking at jail or, or really threatened with jail. I wouldn't say probably until maybe the middle of like season three or something. Good lord, that long? Yeah, <laughs> because I honestly I think like the whole Tasha thing. I agree with. I agree with the. Uh, with uh with uh T streams that the whole Tasha thing they have to get her out or they have to establish that she's going to stay in like this whole will she or won't she get out it's kind of gotten played it's ran its course they're you know they need to either let her out or convict her and know that she's going to be in there and and so but I think what I think with Tariq I think what's going to happen is is he's going to stay in there's probably going to be there's going to be some kerfuffle with Sachs, obviously. And I think they're going to have, I think what I kind of think is they're going to let Tasha uh, out or she'll get, she'll get acquitted either one. And then Sachs is going to end up going after Tariq. It's going to, maybe his, his niece or someone will say, Hey, look, they're selling up there. He's basically an Ivy league kingpin, blah, blah, blah. And Sachs is going to go after Tariq the way he went after his dad. And okay. and we'll have that whole cat and mouse game with him there, you know. But I'll, I'll be honest with you. What I really would like for them to do, at least I hope they do something more with it in this last episode, is I hope they do something with Tariq and Braden because they, they did such a fantastic job of developing those two characters and their relationship and their bond and the reason why they, they're friends and working together, all this. I mean, they're – these two dudes were really fantastic together. I really like I looked at them and I thought this is a fantastic little duel right here. You have one guy who has totally different motivations from the other, but they both want to do the same thing. And you know, they're sort of like Tommy and 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 Ghost where you have one that's reckless and and you're going to have to constantly hold him back from from, you know, from himself in some respects. And then they just sort of like after the whole thing with with uh, with the troll doll, it just sort of that relationship sort of fizzled, and they haven't really done anything with it for like the last you know three episodes. It's just sort of it's like Brayden's there, but they haven't really done much with that. I feel like that that relationship right there deserves an entire episode. Mm -hmm. You know, I can see that. Well, one thing that they did reveal in this trailer is that <laughs> <laughs> Professor Carey confided. And Officer Santana, that's why Eddie Winslow Bellamy was upset that she went to the police. And I'm telling y'all right now, mm. he is going to be a third wheel in her love triangle of Eddie Winslow Bellamy, Professor Plagiarism, and now add yourself some lies, Alonza, Officer Santana. I ain't going to have no nickname for him because that's my boy. <laughs> 